Hello, wind turbine designers at MTNU. I'm Paul, and in this episode, I'll be talking about arguably the most important sensor for your project. And that sensor is torque diff on main shaft. So let's uh, jump right into ashes here. Um, on the right hand side here, you can see that I have uh, two sensors that are um, active by the default. And that's the generator sensor and the rotor sensor. And the sen then the, the sensor field I'm talking about is torque diff on main shaft, which means torque difference on main shaft. First, what is the main shaft? If I press the main shaft part here, you see it change color here. And uh, the main shaft, as you see, the main shaft is the part connecting the rotor and the generator, except you don't see the generator in ashes, but it's it's there. It's just not visualized. So the torque difference on main shaft is the difference between the torque, the aero torque on the rotor and the torque from the generator acting in the opposite di direction. So you can think of the, the generator as applying a, a braking torque on the main shaft. Mm, so the difference is, i.e. the difference is the, the aero torque minus uh, the uh, generator torque. And why is this important? It's important because at your operating conditions, at your operational RPM, or sometimes that's called the rated RPM, uh, you want the system to be stable, which means the, the rotor should not accelerate. And in order to, uh, for the rotor not to accelerate at that point, the difference, the torque difference on main shaft must be close to zero. It doesn't have to be exactly zero, but it has to be, has to, has to be close to zero. So let's start uh, a simulation here and see what ha happens. Okay, first I'm gonna open uh, four graphs here. I'm gonna open the RPM graph. I'm opening the aero torque graph. I'm opening the generator torque graph, torque on main shaft, and I'm op op opening the torque diff on main shaft. So if the torque diff is not close to zero, then the a uh, rotor will either accelerate or decelerate. RPM will increase or decrease. So what we see here is that the uh, uh, RPM is increasing. So then we would expect that the torque diff is positive and not zero, not close to zero. And at the bottom here, yes, we see that the torque diff is indeed positive. Um, and is it the difference between aero torque? This is uh, and generator torque. This is aero torque. Um, let's see, aero torque is 0.78 newton meters, and um, generator torque is 0.63 newton meters. So it seems correct that. Um, uh, that the torque difference is is uh, point one, point oh one, no sorry, point one uh, newton meters. And the RPM will continue to increase as long as you have a. Uh, a torque difference that's not close to zero. It, it will stabilize, although it's not ac um, accurately or completely zero, and that's because there are some losses in the system. So, so when the um, aero torque uh, is very close to the generator torque, 
it will stabilize. But here, here it's still the difference is still too large for uh, for it to st stabilize. Um, so what you would typically do here is to figure out how you can either uh, decrease the um, the aero torque or increase the generator torque. And you know, in almost all cases, you would go for um, increasing the generator torque. So figure out how, how can you do that? How can you change the design of your generator um, in order to increase the generator torque? Okay, so uh, finally, I'll show you some nice tricks here you can do when you're working with ashes. And uh, the first one is that you can um, group sensors together. In this case, so sensors with the same unit. So in this case, we will uh, group all the torque sensors together. So we can drag a sensor and drop it. And so now we see all the three sensors, uh, the aero torque, the generator torque, and the torque diff in the sa same graph. And as the, as the difference becomes smaller, the, the uh, RPM acceleration will also become smaller and it will be stabilized, but typically in this case at a too high RPM. The other trick is to change the, the X axis on the graph. And in this case, you might want to use, for example, 0.4 seconds. So that means that the graph will just show you the, the last uh, 0.4 seconds. So you don't see the tra transients. Okay, now, now we're, now there's still a difference, but the difference is becoming so small that you're, that you, uh, the increase in RPM is, you know, uh, almost zero. So this is this would be a, a stable system. So if you had this from the beginning, then then you would be at the right place. Okay, uh, that's that was it about the torque diff on main shaft sensor. Uh, please subscribe and like if you want to see more videos like this. And good luck with the last uh, half of your pro project. Bye bye.